In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at how to customize slideshow templates. There are 13 in all, and the three that we'll deal with in this exercise are all templates that operate about the same way. They're the frozen space, the outer space, and the 3D. We have another lesson on different kinds of templates that have different customizations and another one on how to create a slideshow in just a few minutes. But we're going to start the slideshow. We have some slides, some solid uh, graphics on the screen and track number one. We'll highlight them and click on our slideshow above my timeline. And we can have frozen space, outer space, or 3D. They all customize about the same way. Let's look at frozen space. I'll double click and it will load. To see what it looks like, let's hit the preview key and the play button. And we have this one background. The pictures come in in order and swirl around and then focus on one after another. And so that's the process there. Let's see what happens when we click on customize. There are several things that we can do with this particular template. We can change the cropping area of each individual picture. So I have the first picture, I have this fire truck. I can make it smaller. I can change the center of it. And that can be picture number one. Picture number two, I can crop it again. Same proportions, but maybe a slightly different location. And I've changed picture number two. Number three, likewise. I can go ahead and crop it and uh, just keep doing this for, for picture after picture in order to make it a little more interesting to my audience. So that's the cropping and repositioning that we have. The other option we have uh, is that we can replace the background. All I have to do is click on the button in the lower left corner of the slideshow designer window and then it takes me to my file system. I can move to um, anything I want to. Let's take this baseball image and now that's the background image that I have here. If I go ahead and play it in the preview screen uh, that's what it's playing on. So I can make it um, a more interesting background reflecting anything I have in my file system as a picture. I'll go ahead and cancel that and cancel this. Now the other two that are similar are the outer space. We'll highlight these, hit slideshow, and I'll show you the outer space. We've done the frozen space. And when we load this, uh, we'll see a similar kind of situation. Uh, different background, the pictures come in differently. And the good news is if you don't like this, the uh, space motif, you can customize this one too. We'll go ahead and pause it, hit customize. Once again, I can decide I'm going to change the uh, pictures and I can also change the background. So let me go ahead, replace the background. Uh, let me go to uh, a different location here. Um, go to this location and these backgrounds here. Let me go to this blue gradient. And now I have a completely different kind of background in the slideshow. If I go ahead and play it, uh, I still have a little bit of the stars and asteroids, um, but I do have a different kind of background. That one doesn't actually work too bad. So we'll cancel out of that one. And then we'll show you the third variation uh, with the same kind of tools in customization. And we'll click on the 3D. And the 3D again, when we play it, <coughs> it has a background that comes in and then panels in uh, that look like they're um, three-dimensional, not too bad at all, uh, with frames around them that give you uh, a sense of uh, how to view the pictures in your slideshow in a slightly different format. Again, if we click on Customize, you wind up with the same options. You can resize the uh, and recenter the pictures. 
You can change the background. If you don't like this kind of background, you can find anything else in your file system that would work as good or better. Um, just for fun, we'll replace it. And uh, I'll go to uh, uh, this PowerDirector logo here and uh, go ahead and play. And now that's my background uh, for this particular one. And so we'll cancel out of that since uh, we just want to show you the customization options. So we hope this has been helpful as we work through the 13 templates that are part of the slideshow creator as you customize them to fit your own particular needs.